from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Members of the media were recently given a tour of the offices of social impact nonprofit organization Harambi Youth Employment Accelerator, with the aim of highlighting its work in connecting youth to employment and work experience opportunities. Skulkberger has the details. The Arumba Youth Employment Accelerator has more than 3.5 million young people who are active participants on its platform, which represents about 20% of South Africa's young population who are seeking to develop their professional profiles. The Youth Employment Accelerator links youth to job and work experience opportunities as close to their places of residence as possible. The organization suggests to young people via an app, email or telephone, pathways they can take to complete or increase their education, to partake in volunteer work to gain initial work experience and skills, or matches them with available employment opportunities through its employer partners. The aim is to ensure that the youth remain engaged in the economy and move along their pathway to employment and their careers, said Harambe Chief Communications Officer Zenge Ziwe Msimang. To the youth it would be thank you. It would be thank you for staying in the game, thank you for staying active, thank you for trying. And, and, and I think it's also to say that they really mustn't lose hope because the opportunities exist. Um, they're not as many as we would like, and I think that is why we say to employers is that take a bet on young people. They really are worth it. Uh, if, you, if you hire inclusively, if you're able to be part of the solution, the impact that you have the potential to make, not on just a young person's life, but on an entire family, community, and economy is massive. So to Employers, I would say, those who are on the system and are putting their, their opportunities up, thank you. You really are changing lives. And I think to potential employers, I would say, be part of the solution. It's working. NYDA CEO Wasim Karim said the aim of the Youth Employment Accelerator is to support youth who are willing to serve the communities and build themselves and then to build South Africa. For many young people, they come from households where they've never had a person who's employed in the household. So what we call the habits of work, you know, uh, showing up on time, having discipline in the workplace, how to show up for an interview, those are things that are sometimes foreign to young people and some of the things that we take for granted. Yeah? So what these National Youth Service type of programs do is it's a softer integration into the workplace for young people so that they can learn the habits of work, they can learn the discipline needed to be able to thrive in the workplace. And what you have on the other end of it is you have a person who's better packaged who when we go out and negotiate with employers, we can say we can vouch for this person. They have a reference letter to attach to them. They've gained the skills, they understand the habits of work and that eases the transition into more formal types of employment. Additionally, Karim details some of the benefits of the SA Youth digital platform that is being used to engage with youth and link them with opportunities. So I think SA Youth provides a number of benefits. Right? The, the, the first thing is it, it helps government services move into the digital era. Right? If you think about how recruitment was done before, with boxes of CVs sitting in an office or even via email where you've got to put all of these things on an Excel spreadsheet. You're now sitting with a digital footprint of every young person. You can filter by skill, you can filter by competency, you can filter by gender. So you have a much better understanding of the type of young people, the skills they possess, their geographies. Uh, so we're doing much better at making young people visible to the labor market, right? But very much so, this is not only a supply side intervention, we're trying to address the demand side. So South Africa has latent demand in the economy. Although we have high employment, we have latent demand. If you open up the newspapers, if you go through careers net, you'll find there's a lot of jobs on offer, right? And what we're able to do, what we're trying to do is aggregate demand in one place, yeah? So we do better job matching of young people who would not be visible to employers and matching employers with skills and competencies that are already there in the labor market. And through doing that, we're gathering data on where uh, you know, opportunities are, what are the gaps that we need to fill. So it's making us much more efficient in labor market processes. And I think that's the really exciting work that we're engaged in here in South Africa. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.